To create an aura, open the Erasma app on your mobile device, then go ahead and tap the A down at the bottom. Tap the little person down at the bottom corner to sign into your account. If you don't have one, you'll want to go ahead and tap account and create one. Type in your information and click join. If you already have an account, type in your username and password, then click login. After you log in, tap the My Auras button at the top. To create a new aura or channel, simply tap the plus button and then choose the aura or channel. For this example, we'll be choosing channel. To create your channel, you'll want to add a picture, give it a name and a description if you like. When you're ready, click finish. When your channel is created, you'll see this next screen. Sharing a channel with others is easy. You simply click share and then choose your method. For this example, I'm going to show you email. You can simply click the link and if Erasma is already downloaded on your mobile device, you'll be able to follow the channel that was shared easily. However, if you'd like to create a QR code for your channel, you'll want to tap on the link, then click Copy. Your next step will be to go to a QR code creator like QRStuff.com. Just simply paste in your link and then click Download your QR code. Anyone with a QR code reader and your QR code We'll be able to scan it and then automatically either download Erasma if it's not already downloaded or follow the channel that you wanted to share. After you've clicked the link from the email or scanned the QR code, this screen will pop up on your Erasma app. You'll have followed the channel. Searching for a channel is also simple. Simply tap the little magnifying glass, then type in a channel you're looking for. You'll want to click Search Next. Then, when you find the channel you're looking for, tap it and go ahead and click Follow. Creating an aura is also simple. You'll want to click the plus sign. After you've chosen to create an aura, you'll want to click Device. That way you can create your own overlay. To do so, just click the plus button. After you've clicked plus, you'll be able to choose where you want to get your overlay from. I typically use Photo Album because I like to create my video or photo overlay beforehand. Choose what you need. After you've chosen from your camera roll or taken a video, you can give your overlay an optional name. If you don't want to, just click Finish. Then, when you're ready, your overlay will show up, tap it, and then click Select. Next, you'll need to choose your trigger image. Here, I'm just using an iPad. You'll want to make sure your cursor is set to green. That way, you have a good trigger image. When it's green and you're happy with your trigger image, click the camera icon. Next, you'll be able to position your overlay. Pinch in or out to make it larger or smaller and use one finger to move it around. When you're ready, click the next button. Now it's time to give your aura a name at the top, then choose whether you want it to be private or public. If it's private, only those who follow your private channel or yourself can see the aura. If it's public 
or associated with one of your public channels, then anyone with the Erasma app can view your Aura. If you choose to make your Aura private, you can go ahead and create a new channel. Make sure the Add to Channel button is selected Yes, and then do the same things to create a private channel. Add a picture, a name, and a description if you want, then click Finish. If you want to make your Aura public, make sure you've selected Public, and if you want to add it to a channel, make sure that button is tapped to Yes. If you only have one channel, it will automatically go to that one. However, you can also create additional channels, or if you have more, choose which one is appropriate. Then, click Finish. Your Aura will be created and shared with anyone on your channel, or if it's public, made public for anyone who has the Erasma app. I hope you have found today's guide useful and are excited to start using augmented reality in your classroom. There are so many different things that can be done. Thanks!